Hey guys, Adam Trigger here, wagertalk.com. We're talking college basketball, top 25 matchup. Well, one, one of these teams is in the top 25 right now. That's Iowa State hosting the Kansas State Wildcats. I got my every man a Wildcat hoodie on right here. I've gotten to see this team a couple of times live. But first, I want to tell you about a great special that we have before we get into the breakdown, and that's 30 days off of all access, seven day. Um, it's great value right there. Um, you take $30 off and, and you know, handicapper plays a 5% play uh, over the course of that seven days. It almost pays for itself. And then you get all the other picks as well. So pretty much a no brainer at this time of year, especially with the volume. Um, if you're looking at college hoop, uh, the, a great special right there. And that's coupon code access seven. Um, you can use that for my picks or any other handicapper on the site. And that's $30 off a seven day all access pass. Um, been rolling in college hoops. I'm 10 and two, um, you know, at the time we're making this video coming into Wednesday night and, uh, you know, coming into Wednesday night, as far as the, the big 12 is concerned, as far as these two teams are concerned, I, I feel like I have a better beat on Kansas state than I do Iowa state right now. So I'm going to kind of kind of start my handicap there and, and, and then we'll get into where I'm looking into this, you know, for this game. So I, I do prefer Kansas state in the underdog role. And I think where the number is at right here at eight, it looks like eight is probably like, you know, widely available at the time we're making this video. I think that's the way I would lean in this game. Now, I will say that like Kansas State's a team that I am looking for a spot to play against at some point. Um, you know, this is a team that lost Keontae Johnson, Marquise Noel, both guys that were, you know, 17 point per game guys on last year's Elite Eight team. Um, you know, if you told me, that they were going to lose Naquan Tomlin. So he never played this year for them. He's now at, at Memphis after that whole thing. Lose Quest Glover to injury. So he pretty much never played this year. Um, and, and then, you know, kind of what they lost last year, I would have probably had them power rated last um, in this conference coming into this season. Uh, and, and then also throw into the fact that Tyler Perry is shooting just 33% from the field. If you told me all those things before the season, I would have had Kansas State rated dead last um, in this conference from a power rating perspective. Because um, Perry's had a down year for, you know, in comparison to what he was at North Texas last year. But the one thing that I've, uh, that I'm kind of willing to get behind, uh, and I think you've seen it in Kansas State's, Kansas State's results so far, is Jerome Tang and his coaching staff and, and just how awesome they are at, at, you know, overcoming adversity, getting the team prepared. It's just a well-coached team that plays hard and, and sort of over has has managed to overcome their shortcomings, which, which is something I love in an underdog. And, and why that, you know, if I was going to bet this game right here, um, I would be looking at Kansas State plus the points. Now, I also think that Iowa State could be just a shade overvalued. Um, I, I, you know, I, I guess in the respect that, like, I don't really have the Cyclones as a, as a top 25 team in the country. Uh, they are coming off a really nice win, uh, which, which kind of gets them in the mix here. And of course, I mean, if you if you're going to win games in the Big 12, the best conference of college basketball this year, you're probably going to hang around the top 25. Um, but but Iowa State's another team that I, I kind of am, am interested in playing against right now, especially in the um, in, in an inflated spot like this. So it's, uh, you know, this hat, you know, kind of fits the whole. All right. Like ranked team, home team, Big 12. Um, and, and those home sort of favorites in a lot of cases have, have been priced up a little bit uh, for the for the very simple fact that it's been very, very difficult to win on the road in this conference. But here you don't have to win. And, and that's what I think is, is also most appealing about Kansas State plus the point, points in this game. Eight points, that's four possessions right there. So, you know, you don't you don't need Kansas State to win this game uh, to cash a, cash a ticket here. And I think there's like quite a few, but, but I think it's important to point out that they can win this game. Um, they're well coached. They defend hard enough. And, 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 you know, you get, you get Perry that has, you know, have one of his good nights, Kansas state could easily win this game, but they don't need to, for you to cover this number. Um, you know, the other thing that sticks out to me here, especially with the spread of this number, uh, Iowa state, not a good free throw shooting team. Typically to, to win and cover by eight, unless it's, unless this is going to be just a total bloodbath, which I don't see happening because I love the way Kansas state plays. And I think they're going to hang around, 
Um, you're probably going to need uh, some foul shooting from Iowa State, and they haven't been good at the free throw free throw line. Um, I like Iowa State's defense better than their offense. I, I, I like when they have their defensive lineup on the floor better. Uh, I think in a, in a game like this against Kansas State, that they probably prioritize defense a little bit. And, and I, you know, the total's kind of telling me that might be the case too in the, in the mid to low 130s. So I, I just think there's more ways that this game is close, tight, low scoring than it is just a Iowa State kind of like, you know, riding the wave and, and, and blowing them out. Um, like I said, Iowa State comes off a pretty big win. So, a, a you know, it, it's hard for them to go flat at Hilton. They typically don't. But, again, they, they are coming off a big win, so maybe they overlook Kansas State a little bit here because Kansas State is one of the, the teams that's not ranked in the Big 12. Um, again, this, this didn't make my client card for Wednesday, but if I was going to bet this top 25 matchup, Kansas State, Iowa State, I can only look one way, and that would be to take the points with the Wildcats. It's a scrappy team. I think this is going to be a pretty good basketball game. And I think there's a good chance that Kansas State keeps it within eight points or fewer. For, for all of my plays, head on over to Wager Talk, wt.buzz slash at. Use that coupon code ACCESS7. Seven day all access, $30 off. Uh, I, I've ramped up my volume. I uh, talked about it on Wager Talk today. So you are definitely going to get your money's worth right there. I'm 10 and 2 in my last 12 college basketball plays. 2-0 and on 5% plays, and I know I'll probably have another one of those at some point this week. Um, so access 7 on that 7-day all-access, $30 off. And follow me on Twitter, at TopFlightSI. I'm doing tons of free content. I run Twitter spaces a couple times a week. I post free plays there as well. Um, so you know, come follow me on Twitter, at TopFlightSI, and I promise you're going to get good college basketball content uh, for, for the rest of the season.